June 6th. On this day we celebrate the memory of our Venerable Father Hilarion, abbot of the Monastery of Dalmatus. Our Holy Father Hilarion originally came from Cappadocia, where his father provided bread for the imperial palace and enjoyed a favoured position. Entering the monastery of Xeropkopian in Constantinople at the age of twenty, he soon left it for the celebrated monastery of Dalmatus, where he was tonsured a monk. Humble and a lover of Hezekiah, his obedience for ten years was to work in the garden where his virtues shone forth. As he had cast out a demon from a young boy by his prayers, the abbot ordered that he be ordained priest in spite of his reluctance. And some time after the death of the abbot, as the monks wished to make him abbot, Hilarion left to take refuge in the monastery of Cathara in Bithynia. The monks of Dalmatus, however, appealed to Patriarch Nicephorus and to the emperor to send him back to their monastery. And he was named abbot by the Holy Synod and the Archimandrite of the monasteries of the capital. He was peacefully directing his spiritual flock when Leo the Armenian began the iconoclast persecution once more. The saint was brought before the sovereign who tried to make him renounce the veneration of the holy icons, but he firmly stood his ground, treating the emperor as an atheist and a new apostate. Furious, Leo had him tortured and thrown into prison. After a prolonged detention, Hilarion was brought before the emperor once more where he repeated his former words. Leo handed him over to the heretical patriarch Theodotus Gesiteris in the hope that the latter would be able to convince the valiant confessor and along with him the powerful monastic party. Theodotus failed and Hilarion was shut up in a dark dungeon without food for many days. His disciples, hearing that he was about to die from hunger, went to beg the emperor to release him, promising that their spiritual father would submit to his will. Leo freed him and allowed him to return to his monastery, but he soon realized that he had acted like a fool, and the saint was shut up for six months in the monastery of Phonius on the Bosphorus, where he was subjected to ill-treatment by the abbot, who had been won over to the emperor's cause. After appearing once more before the tyrant, Hilarion was transferred to the monastery of Kiklobian on the west side of the capital, where he remained for two and a half years, after which he was interned in the prison of the Numerians near the palace, whence he was taken to the fortress of Protilian after having been cruelly beaten. After Leo was assassinated in the church which he, where he had begun his persecution by throwing an icon of Christ to the ground, Michael II, taking power, ordered that the confessors be freed. Hilarion was released, but was forbidden to enter the city. He was given shelter for seven years by a devout Christian until the beginning of Theophilus' reign. He, seeking out the monastic superiors who were confessors of the holy icons, had them brought before him one by one. When they asked Hilarion whether he would submit to the imperial will, the saint condemned the tyrant, accusing him of being an impious de deceiver. Without pity for his age, they inflicted a hundred and seventeen blows on him and then had him deported to the island of Ephusia, to the south of the Propontius. There the saint dug out a narrow cell in the rock, and by his prayer made a spring of fresh water flow from the rock. He spent eight years there in Hezekiah until the death of Theophilus. Saint Hilarion was immediately authorized to return to Constantinople by the Empress Theodora and to take up the direction of his monastery once more. Having been present at the triumphal restoration of orthodoxy, he spent three years instructing his monks in the holy traditions, shining radiantly by the sanctity of his life and his miracles. In 845, at the age of 70, he gave his soul into the Lord's hands. Blessed is our God always now and for the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee.
O heavenly King, O comfort of the Spirit of Truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. of Egypt's land. The Israelites cried aloud, proclaiming, Unto our God and Redeemer, let us now sing. O Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. Since thou hast ascended from the misery of things material, unto the immaterial and noetical light of righteous Hilarion, in a light and me by thine entreaties with the Lord. Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. From infancy was thou suckled on virtue, and through the labours of abstinence and the sweat of asceticism, thou camest to the perfect man, and the measure of the spiritual stature of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Passing through the gulf of the passions, and escaping dry through the surging billows of the demons, O righteous Father, thou didst cast anchor in the haven of dispassion. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Word who is motherless from the Father, is thou conceived in these lost times as a God-man without a father, O all holy Mother of God, for thou art higher than all creation. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in darkness, and my spirit sings thy praise. O holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for With us. With the fiery coal of asceticism, O glorious Hilarion, thou hast burned up the thorns of the passions, and dost warm the hearts of the faithful. Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. Armed with abstinence as weapon and prayer as breastplate, thou didst put to flight the ranks of invisible enemies. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Abounding in a love of virginity, O righteous Hilarion, thou didst achieve the virtues that draw nigh to the Master. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Grant us us help by thine entreaties, O all pure virgin, and word of the attacks of terrible calamities. Thou truly didst consecrate thy life and labors to God, becoming an excellent and sacred priest unto Christ, O sacred Hilarion. Wherefore, after boundless toils and sweat, thou wast taken. Filled with joy to reach the immaterial dwellings, and now thou makest healings and cures pour forth to us in streams. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By thy divine childbirth thou, O spotless maid, hast renewed the whole mortal nature of the earth, born which was corrupt with passions and dead in sins. Thou hast raised all men from death to life, pure and endless. Wherefore, as is due, O thou most glorious virgin, we all now call thee blessed, as thou truly didst prophesy. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. Planted by the waters of abstinence, O blessed Father, thou didst prove to be a vine that flourished exceedingly, putting forth a cluster of godly piety. Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for Becoming us. Becoming holy, divine, and spirit-bearing, O all-blessed Hilarion, thou wast wholly known unto God. Wherefore thou dancest for joy with the angels forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst set the steps of thy heart upon the rock of faith, and didst remain unshaken, unafraid of the assaults of demons. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all Immaculate One, we hymn thee as her that is higher than the cherubim and the seraphim, for thou hast in thine arms him before whom they tremble, even our God in the flood. Waking at dawn, we cry to thee, save us, O Lord, for thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. O Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. Blameless ladies, thou keep the eye of thy heart, and sleeping in the divine commandments, O celebrated Hilarion. Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. Through active asceticism, O God, bearer, thou went up into the mount of the virtuous for ascent unto divine vision. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Dispersing mercy to the poor with all thy heart, O righteous Hilarion. Lorian, thou didst receive heavenly riches. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord of the Lord revealed thee as the ark of the word of Theotokos, and in thee he inexpressibly made his dwelling. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray, for unto thee have I cried, O God of my salvation and my Saviour. Hearken unto me, O Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. In thy weaponless grappling with the spiritual Goliath, who was lifted up in wickedness, thou didst fell him with faith as the sling, and wrestling from him the weapons of his defeat, Thou didst be heard him as a boaster. Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. That Hilarion, great in virtue, didst thou emulate a righteous father, and spiritually following in his footsteps, thou became eminent in abstinence and an example for thy flow. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the sweat of asceticism, thou didst wholly quench the burning coals of the enemy's darts, and having kindled the fire of faith, thou burnst up the vaunting of heretical unbelief. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou didst truly conceive God the Word in thy womb, and gave birth to him past nature, O all blameless virgin, by thine entreaties make him gracious unto them, that rightly hymn thee as the Theotokos. Though cast into the fire, thou wast not burnt, O righteous, Hilarion, wise father, most godly of spirit. For thou hadst the dew of Christ, God refreshing thee mightily. Since thou hast accomplished struggles far above nature, Thou, O valiant athlete, dost rejoice with the righteous, with them now remember us. 
Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon. The fire of the furnace they trampled down, while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. O the virgin of the kingdom, on high didst thou graze thy flock, and with the staff of thy doctrines didst thou drive off the beasts of the heresies. O Father, and thou didst chant, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. Spreading abroad the luster of miracles, thou dost scatter the gloomy mist that enshrouds the sick. And thou grants the rays of health and the daylight of well-being to them that shout, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast entered the nuptial feast of Christ, the King on high, clad in a raiment worthy of him that called thee. O all blessed Hilarion, while crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In a manner transcending nature and reason as thou given birth to the master of all, and thou feeds at thy breast him that prepares a table for all in due season. Fervently beseech him in our behalf, O gracious Virgin. The county tyrant, mad with rage, fired his furnace a blazing flame, seven times more hot against the worshippers of God. But seeing them kept in safety by a power greater than his, he then cried aloud, Ye children, bless the Creator, the Saviour and Redeemer. O ye priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. The floods of thy tears, thou didst wash away unruly thoughts and the uprising of the passions. And thou became the sea of long-suffering, O righteous Hilarion, leading to cheerful tranquility. Them that cry, Bless Christ, O you children, O you priests, sing his praises. Exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. Having thine admonitions as the mighty iron of asceticism, O righteous Hilarion, we furnish our hearts with swords. Therewith we turn back the hordes of passions like the heathen, and with faith we cry out, Bless Christ, O you children, O you priests, sing his praises. Exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Making the passionate disposition of the flesh to waste away by means of abstinence and afflictions, O all-wise Hilarion, thou wast filled with the spiritual power of the Spirit, O righteous Father, and didst reach the pass of dispassion while shouting, Bless Christ, O you children, O you priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In distress, on account of frightful sins, temptations, and tribulations, we all flee under the shelter of thy holy wings, O Lady. For having thee as protection, we cry, Bless Christ, O you children, O you priests, sing his praises. Exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made were sore amazed. For God appeared bodily to mankind as very man. And lo, thy womb is proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For this, O Theotokos, the choirs and assemblies of men and angels magnify thy name. O Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. Christ has verily manifested in thee as a fountain of miracles, O glorious and thrice blessed Hilarion, which purges the painful stains of passions and easily washes away the sufferings of diseases. Wherefore, O all blessed one, we all call thee a river of the soul's purification. Holy Father Hilarion, pray to God for us. O all famed Father, thou this flower is spiritually like a palm tree in the house of God, bringing forth the pains of abstinence as a sweetness, wherewith thou didst spiritually sweeten the hearts of thy flock. 
Wherefore, by thine intercessions, deem them worthy also of crowns of heavenly glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast finished the course of asceticism, and hast kept the faith of godly-minded Hilarion. Wherefore, a twofold crown has truly now been plated for thee, which is determined by the things thou wrought in thy life. Thou shalt lawfully receive from God, that thou mightst take possession of bliss on high with the choirs of angels. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We have thee as a weapon in dangers and temptations, as a heaven and wall in tribulations, as a spiritual shield in wars, as a great mercy seat in the grievous circumstances of our stumblings, Wherefore, as is due, we honor thee as the Theotokos, and we magnify thy childbirth. In thee the image was preserved with exactness, O Father, for taking up thy cross thou didst follow Christ, and by thy deeds thou didst teach us to overlook the flesh, for it passes away, but to attend to the soul, since it is immortal. Wherefore, O righteous Father Hilary, and thy spirit rejoices with the angels. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life, giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. At the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of our righteous father, Hilarion the New, abbot of the monastery of Dalmatus. With the prayers of our righteous father, Atlas the Wonderworker. With the prayers of the holy five virgins and righteous martyrs of Caesarea in Palestine, Martha, Mary, Syria, Valeria and Marcia. With the prayers of our righteous father Anub of Egypt, the wonder worker, the worker of signs. With the prayers of Saint Galatius, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of our righteous father Photas. With the prayers of the holy virgin martyrs Archelaus, Thecla, and Susanna, who were beheaded at Salerno in the persecution of Diocletian. With the prayers of our Holy Father Barlam of Hutin, whose holy relics have been recovered on this day. With the prayers of our Father among the saints Jonas, Bishop of Perm. With the prayers of our righteous Father Paisius of Uglich. With the prayers of our righteous Father Jonas of Klimensky. With the prayers of Saint Jarlath of Tuam, Saint Goodwill of Cornwall, and Saint Coca, and those with them whose memory we also keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us.